So hello and welcome, and today we're going to make this wonderful roulette. And if you're asking where my bird is, sitting on my desk, eating and distracting me. And so as always, we start with a wonderful new file and delete the default cube because that thing is evil. And so we add a wonderful cube because we need a cube. So of course this thing is not looking like a wheel at all, so we're just going to down because that thing is not really, uh, well, ruler shape so this is just wonderful adjust with you know scale to with s or wonderful use uh, these things here i just went on to amazon because well uh, they have actually high quality pictures of rulers and they are mostly centered so <laughs> i just went and searched for wooden ruler of course if you're planning to use this one commercially or something get yourself a license to some textures because well yeah that's how Copyright works. Anyway, we're just gonna want to full download that. I already did this one and with that let's go back into Blender And now we're just gonna open this thing up and we're just gonna make a wonderful new Texture in this case. Let's switch here to the wonderful shader editor and now we are in this material view We know we'll go wonderful to a wonderful don't order and just pull it right in There we have it. Look at that. That's the last video and we're just gonna connect this thing. Of course, we cannot see anything because we have to switch to viewport shading. And as we see, it's not looking like a ruler at all. So we're just gonna add a node wrangler. If you don't have that thing enabled, you can do that one in the preferences. There we go, node wrangler. In this case, we want a UV because we will base it on a texture. So with that, we can now change the texture by opening a new window in changing it to UV. In this case is now asking us, well, which texture do you want? In this case, we want the ruler. I think it's the top one, and there we have a wonderful image. So in this case, we now have to align everything that's looking like at this selected like top part, because that's the important part. And with that, we'll just align it. In this case, you can see it's completely distorted. That is because it's currently, uh, well, on the wrong side. So just gonna Select the whole thing and we're gonna press R to rotate on the x-axis or y-axis. I'm not sure I was confused them and just Change them by 90 degrees in this case. We now have to just align this one just G and and it Y so it's staying on one side so it cannot go away So we're just gonna go to the end here and do this one for the top part as well now we're doing to select right ones and just go over here and go over there and as you can see it's now looking pretty decent except it's still on the wrong side so so just gonna select this one go over there select this one and pull it over and align them so we have the thing on the right right side there we go we have no west caught on a wonderful ruler now we're just gonna maybe align this one perfectly here like so we have 12 I think it's centimeters but I'm not sure but we're gonna get to that later now we're just doing the, do the same part for everything else See, in this case they don't really matter as you only need uh, a little bit of wood in this case it's also on the wrong side so we're just gonna rotate them 90 degrees and scale them down and just put them somewhere where it's a little bit wood but nothing like uh, any bond or numbers or anything you can see it's looking like wood, but well, it's not really interesting right now. So we're just gonna do the same thing, rotate it, and scale it down, and just put it in here so we have wood texture. Now let's do the one for the back as well, rotate it by 90 degrees, scale it down, pull it to the side, and just Pull it over here. Let's see. We have, I think, everything now except, I think, the back. Of course, I'm not sure if that actually has uh, wood or not. I'm just going to mirror that thing because I'm pretty sure the markings are on both sides. So we're just going to rotate it by 90 degrees again, scale it down. In this case, you're going to move it to the end. Also, maybe make this one a little bit down. Select the two points and just G and then just G and then we're just going to X and pull it over to the side until we are at the end. So we have it now also on this side. It's again on the wrong side. 
Well, that's something we can fix pretty quickly. So just going to pull it over here and switch it. There we go. Now, something that we can see that is currently not in here is the wonderful cylinder part. So we're just going to change that as well. So we're just going to close this one as we will not need it currently. So we're just going to now make a wonderful hole here. So we're just going to add a cylinder that is, of course, way too big. Let's scale it down. Right click and make it smooth. And now align it with a wonderful thing. Make sure it pokes out of the bottom. That's good. I think we should make it a little bit smaller. I think it's a little bit scoot here. There we go. Just align it. And then we're just going to make a wonderful cut here with a new with the modifier. So we're just going to search and make it, well, it's already in top, a boolean. That's called. I'm just going to well, select the wonderful cylinder, which now makes a wonderful cut. In this case, we can just make this one away and see. There we have a cut. We in this case have a bunch of markings in here. Not sure if you really want that. So let's go and uh, first apply this one so we actually can delete our wonderful cylinder so we actually have a hole you can see now we have a bunch of uh well faces here that don't really have a wood texture so let's open a wonderful uv editor once again you can see them it's all this one selected except of course these we don't really need them we just need the hole you can see we have the wonderful markings as of course the faces are here on the markings so i'm just going to select all of them and put them somewhere where nothing is <laughs> Perfect. Now, I think the very important thing, this will really matter if you port it in something like Unity or any other game engine, is the actual size. So, what we're going to do is we're going to tap for the edit mode and just select everything. And now let's take a look at the wonderful the mesh editor options. Here you can take a look at, well, how big everything is. In this case, we're going to enable the edge length and you can see it's two meters. Of course, if anybody doesn't really use meters, you can change that now. So we just go onto the scene here and go to units. Here you can just change between everything. In this case, we have 12 centimeters. So we're just going to change it from meters to centimeters. Of course, you can also go for inches, but I am European, meaning I have no clue on how you actually do these uh, length because they're strange. And yeah, I have meters and centimeters. Anyway, let's just wonderfully scale them down the x-axis until we have 12 centimeters in here. Okay, we have to maybe just go a little bit closer. 12 centimeters, let's see. There we go. And of course, we only have scaled one side. Uh, maybe I should have scale, scaled the whole thing. I think that's a better idea. Let's uh, just scale everything. <laughs> let's see, we need 12 centimeters. 12 centimeters, let's see. Perfect. In this case, it's also showing here 12, 12, 12. That's not correct because we still have not applied all transformations. In case we have scale one here now, and we can see now it's no longer 12 centimeters. X cup, of course, are a wonderful one that's supposed to be 12 centimeters. And these ones are a different one. I'm to be honest, I don't really know the perfect uh, measurements uh, for this one. And also, what is this one? That's not what I signed up for. So let's take a look at the UV once again. And there we have the uh, culprit. It's actually on these, so it's just going to move them over again take them i think we actually might have forgotten this one but uh let's just go over there we go and in this case voila we have wonderful ruler which you now can use to rule well do something i mean whatever you're doing with that let's also make it a little bit uh somewhere else i think the middle point is somewhere else so just change its set origin to middle of the geometry or in the beginning okay I mean, let's just uh, change this, we'll make it a little bit smaller, and well, voila, now you have a ruler. Of course, we now have to make it maybe look a little bit nicer. This, of course, can be done with lighting, so I'm going to make a little cut here, and we see what I come up with for a nice picture for my wonderful thumbnails. Hi, this is editing me. Um, yeah, the last part was kind of broken, so I'm just going to do it like this. Look at Burke and Bert in full size, and uh, yeah, hope you liked it. Please subscribe. 96% of my viewers are not subscribed, so it would make my day. So, see you. Bye.